Hey guys, RC here, back with some Football Manager 20. This is our journeyman save, climbing the ladder, and we are at Union Berlin. So, last episode we played Schalke and Magdeburg, and we were heading into the winter break and transfer window. Not much of a winter break here in the uh, the second Bundesliga, but, uh, you know, for what it is. We beat Berliner 2-1. to one. Got goals from Tom Hill and a penalty from Arturo. Dynamo Dresden fell 4-0. Lepitre Rouillé with a hat trick, including a goal in the 83rd minute and a penalty in the 86th minute. Tom Hill had a goal as well. Hamburger drew with his 1-1. Tom Hill with a fifth-minute goal. And then we went into our winter break uh, for friendlies. We had about a month off. RC Lens, bigger club than us, beat us 4-1. Uh, Jose Rubio got a goal for us. 1860 Munich, we took them out 2-0. Tom Hill and Rouye with the goals. Babelsberg, 5-0 win. Kodorowski, Greg Rivera, we'll talk about him in a minute. Jan Urban, Arturo with a penalty, and Norbert Roos with goals. And then Victoria Pison, a nil-nil draw. We did have two league matches, but I went ahead and played those off camera just to get through the end of the transfer window. Two to one loss to Stuttgart. Pierre Gilly got a goal in the second half. We did beat Braunschweig 4 0. Benedict Stein, Jan Urban, the aforementioned Greg Rivera got his, uh, I think that was his debut goal. <coughs> and no, 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 that was not. But he got a goal in his second match. And Luis Navarro, hello, cat, uh, got a goal as well. So. Not a horrible run of games. We picked up uh, three wins and a draw and two losses down through that stretch. That currently has a second in the table behind Mainz 05 at 42 points. We are even on goal differential with them, and we're even but up five goals on Ingolstadt for the playoff spot and a slim, slim two-point advantage over Augsburg. So we're right in the heart of things. We're only supposed to finish uh, ninth or better. So we've got a pretty you know, nine-point advantage uh, over Shimnitzer in that, in that position. So we're looking okay for that top half finish. So let's take a look at the transfers because we did make a couple of moves. Uh, let's see. This is our goalkeeper that we signed. We've already talked about him. He's going to join us at the end of the season because both of the goalkeepers we have this year are on loan. Will you quit that, please? Uh, and uh, let's see, we've got offers on him. But let's take a look at what went out. Only one move. We did sell Tom McNally for 19000 to Holstein Kiel. Uh, I liked Tom. He was a young Englishman, and he's he's... He's decent, but he was uh, he was expendable. Uh, he was not the one I wanted to sell, or not the only one I wanted to sell, but he was the only one that anybody made a play on. And then we brought in four new players. Uh, the first one is Gareth Harbin from Exeter City. He cost us six hundred and twenty-five thousand. And there you can take a look. He is a keeper for us 24 years old and again looking for depth uh, but he joins us right away and steps into uh, action but he is going to be challenging for that starting role next year not going to be taken over from one of the loanies this year but uh, I knew we needed another solid goalkeeper he was affordable so we went ahead and snagged him uh, then we brought in Ruhola Zarai from Wolfsburg for 60000 He's 18 years old. He's a right back. Uh, not going to probably play him. He's only 5'10", so not going to really play at center back. But um, pretty good potential, four and a half star, and just some young German depth. And, you know, you have to have so many German players. So anytime you can pick up somebody, I, I like to do that. This was uh, an interesting signing. It came a little later uh, in the window, 
We had already made these on the opening day of the window, but Stephen Roach comes to us from Shamrock for 300000 He's a left back, and we were a little thin there, but more importantly, he can play that attacking wing back on the left side. And I, I was looking at a tactic. In fact, one of the tactics that we had, that Marcelo Bielsa tactic, requires wing backs, and we honestly didn't have anybody anybody so uh so i said man eh, we can we can put him in at left back if we need to depth there he can also start at that wing back if we want to go with that tactic so signed him and then greg rivera another german 19 years old and i said i can't say no to that i just can't say no not the paciest but he has really quick acceleration so he's really quick off the mark, decision-making, composure off the ball, uh, finishing, dribbling, first touch. He's not really great at heading, but, you know, he can do a job there. But he is our new number one option at striker. So with signing him and then having Hill, who has done a really good job for us, I went into the tactics and I was, like, looking around. So this is the asymmetrical that we've been playing this is the Bielsa tactic which we really don't have the wing backs and we, we haven't gotten quite as familiar with that so I want to I want to maybe wait another season before I try to use that um, and there was another tactic that was also using wing backs same issue so uh, this is the one that we've you know the more attacking on the side but I've been real happy with the asymmetrical. We've been doing well with it. But um, I was looking at a couple of wingback tactics and uh, may want to give one of those a run next year. We'll see. We'll see. But uh, anyway, let's get to the match today, which is actually tomorrow. So I'll be right back for that. All right. Well, we had mentioned that new guy, Stephen Roach, but unfortunately he, uh, he was injured and is returning in about a week from his some strained knee ligaments but you can see two matches he's playing a 7.3 so he's been doing a pretty stand-up job for us but Petre Rouye just came back so he's in limited action but uh in fact I think we're gonna start Rubio out there for him I just don't want to overdo Rouye here in the early going. And Rivera going to be up top. So the reason I was looking at another tactic, it's a um, it's a variation on a 4-3-3. But again, it has wing backs. And, but it put three guys up top. And I was kind of interested in that. Why is Harbaugh playing? That's the guy we just signed. Is he actually better than McDade? It says he is. He's thrown one shutout, but allowed two goals in two matches. Let's compare him out with McDade. So Harban is a better shot stopper. Everything else is pretty even. And you know what? If we're going to actually have this guy as part of our squad and he's under contract to us, then I would rather play him and let him get better and improve. Uh, but we do have McDade now on the bench. So, eh, we will, uh, I guess we'll go along with that tactical change. McDade has done nothing but excel this year, so I'm certainly not upset with him. But again, we signed this guy, and we have another guy coming in, as we said, next season. All right, we are in the white. There's a header from Rivera that goes off target. That was a quick highlight right out of the gate, three minutes in. How are we looking? Vogler lumps it into the box. There's Schroeder. Oh, there's a ping, and it goes wide. I was hoping there was a fingertip save there, but there was not. All right, Rubio's looking nervous. Uh, get creative. 
Schroeder's taking a, lo a gashed lower leg. Yeah, you know what? Well, let's wait till the half. All right, we are going to move him off. Do we move? Let's put Bach out there. Well, who do I have in the center here? I can bring Gilly on. Kodorowski. So let's move Navarro out wide. And I don't want to bring, I want to bring Ruye on for Rubio later. Well, yeah, 75. Yeah, you know what? Let's bring him on. He's playing, I mean, he could play there, but we're going to move him up at the next sub. That'll be the plan. Excellent efforts. We do have two yellow cards. Greg Rivera's playing a 6-6. Six, six. Really need him to find a finish there. Rubio's not playing well. Come on, boys. All right, let's go ahead and make a sub here. We're going to swap those guys out. And then Abzalov, let's do that. All right, Navarro lays it off. Arturo all the way back to the keeper. Harban. Oh, look at the distribution skills. World class. Oh, uh, knocked away. Pounce on that ball. Pounce on that ball. Oh, good job. Good defense to get it back. Oh, from range. What a shot. His ninth of the season. Tell you what, moving him into the middle, he might be really dangerous from the center, central mid. Nothing wrong with that finish at all. All right. Two subs in. That's all right. All right. And Navarro. But I think I want to bring Arturo off. Rula, Rula Zarai, yeah, he's more right back than center back. I don't want to do that. So we're going to bring Zek on. Demand more. We do have the one goal advantage. Five minutes of stoppage time. All right. You know, we, we, we edged that. one nothing. I think, is a fair result. Excellent efforts. And we will be back for the next match here in just a second. Well, eight days. It'll only take a minute for you guys. Gashed lower leg. So Schroeder's going to miss a week and a half. Yes, he was definitely superb. Guys, we'll be right back. All right, we're back for the Shimnitzer match. It's been eight days. We've got a little bit of an injury crisis going on. Lepitre Rouye got hurt in training uh, with an Achilles. He's It's only for a few days, but uh, he's down. Schroeder's still out uh, with his injury from last match, but he should be back tomorrow. And Norbert Roos, what happened to him? I uh, don't remember, but a training injury. He'll be uh, out for about four days. So uh, we're going to go with Kuhn sliding back to the right wing. And it keeps Navarro in the center. Abzalov's going to start on the left side. And we're going with Rivera up top, of course. Kuhn hadn't played a lot. Uh, he was one that we tried to move. He is German. He's relatively young, but uh, he's making a lot of money. And we were hoping to get uh, to get that off the books. It didn't happen. I was even willing to let him go on a f for free as long as they picked up his salary. And nobody bit. 
Ooh, Thomas Paul, 13th goal of the season. And of course, it comes on the set piece that we know and love. I mean, we know and hate. Man, look at that. Just. If, we, if only we could figure out how. How to defend those set pieces. Oh, nice quick ball out to Urban. Through ball, Rivera. He lays it off to Kuhn. Navarro out to Bukowski. Find an entry pass into the box. Kuhn. Oh, that the, the net jiggled. Come on, where's VAR? Hello? Hello? No? Oh, I thought the net popped. That was disappointing. All right, over the top. Nice ball there, Kuhn. Oh, he dropped it right through, and Rivera couldn't finish. Oh, that one needed to go in the back of the net. We need to demand more, I, I believe, here. Get a, some laser focus going on here. I thought that one, man, that one shot I thought went in. I could swear I saw the net bulge out. Too high. Come on, boys. Oh. We're dominating the match. Yeah, prove a point. Prove a point. Let's get creative. Well, into the wall. And then he dribbles around four players. And then Harbon makes a save. Urban. Oh, come on. Got to do a better job there. Got to do a better job. I'm going to say Absalov is killing me. Um, mid left. Yeah, I'm gonna burn, I'm gonna put uh, I'm gonna put Roach up there. We get our first look at Roach since coming on board, and let's look at uh, let's get a good run with our new uh, left back Ru Ruhola Zarai. Something along those lines. Oh, that was a poor ball. They were too close together. Looked like some eight-year-old kids at the park. Just clustered around the ball. Looked for an entry pass. Need to do a better job. Need to do a better job. All right, there's a good ball into Urban. No. Oh, pop it. Oh, just wide. I bet Rurier would have scored that goal. Show some passion. Come on. Come on. All right. Poached. Kodorowski. Oh, there it is. Urban. He's on a breakaway. He's into the box. Oh, my God. And he shoots wide. He shoots wide. Demand more. Let's bring some fresh legs on at center back. Oh, they pulled up. Just wasting some time. Oh, good save. Might have been wide, but that's all right. Uh, da -da -da. Push forward. Hello, hello. All right, that's headed out.
Back out to Bukowski. Oh, come on! No foul. Okay, good. Arturo. No, you're going the wrong freaking way! <laughs> the wrong way! All right, there's a nice run. Roach into the box. Offsides? No? I don't really want to celebrate that just yet. Well, if they haven't called it an offsides already, I don't think they will. Oh, no, he wasn't. That guy kept him on. Oh, that was a nice run by Rivera. I thought maybe he was offsides. Oh, I would love to be able to steal. Coon. No. Get the ball. Get the ball. Coon. It's the, oh my God, Rivera. Our striker just botched an empty netter. He botched the empty netter. No, 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 no. Oh my God, even my granddaughter can't believe that. Oh, that was horrible. That was horrible. Do we have time for one more? I don't know. Pakalski. Navarro. Oh, push forward. Headed out. Nothing. Damn it. Five chances, including four clear cuts. I think we got jobbed in that one, boys. Yes, it was disappointing. In fact, I'm going to be assertive. I'm going to be assertive and tell them that they sucked. All right, well, that still holds us on goal differential over Ingolstadt. Mainz has drawn two in a row. So they've dropped four points. We've dropped two. So that's helped us make up some difference there. And we are now top of the table. That's incredible. Zarai with his debut. All right. Um, where do we come back? I think we've got to come back for that match right there. Ingolstadt, Mainz. And then I think we come back for the end of the season. We've got a pretty pretty decent run in at the end of the year. Ingolstadt and Mainz, that's going to be top of the table showdown. Ah, oh boy. One, two, five. That's five matches between now and then. So I'm going to play those. We'll come back, see where we sit. Are we holding on to the top of the table? Fingers crossed. And then we've got uh, the, you know, these two tough teams that we'll have to beat on the pitch. So, guys, hit that like button, subscribe, and we will see you next episode for the top of the table showdowns. See ya. Bye.